Metamorphic rocks are one of the three main types of rocks. The others are sedimentary and igneous. Each of these types of rocks form in their own way and can be identified by their unique characteristics. Metamorphic rocks are formed when existing rocks experience extreme heat and extreme pressure. This word metamorphic is very similar to the word metamorphosis, which means to change the form, structure, or characteristic of an object. When we're dealing with metamorphic rocks, we have changed the original structure or form of one rock into a metamorphic rock. We can take a sedimentary, igneous, or even a metamorphic rock and change it into another metamorphic rock. Again, this is done through extreme heat and extreme pressure. The original rock is known as the protolith, and the extreme heat and pressure change the physical and chemical makeup of that rock until it becomes this metamorphic rock. Metamorphic rocks can be formed deep in the Earth's crust or through plate tectonic movements such as collisions, or also through magma intrusions into existing rock. All of these processes increase the heat and or pressure to change the existing rock into a metamorphic rock. There are two main classifications of metamorphism. These are contact metamorphism and regional metamorphism. Contact metamorphism is a localized type of metamorphism that takes place near igneous intrusions, such as dikes or batholiths. The high temperatures of the igneous intrusion cause contact metamorphism of the native rock near the edges of the intrusion. Contact metamorphism usually has high temperatures but a slightly lower pressure than regional metamorphism. Regional metamorphism takes place over large areas, whereas contact metamorphism is usually a localized or smaller area. An example of where regional metamorphism might take place could be at the base of a mountain where two tectonic plates are colliding. In these situations, there's extreme temperatures and extreme pressures. One key classification of metamorphic rocks is what's known as foliation. This shows up as layering in some rocks. This is where an existing rock has been squished or elongated along a particular axis and can show up as different colored bands. We will often identify a metamorphic rock as either foliated or non-foliated. Let's take a look at a few examples of metamorphic rocks. We will identify the name of the rock and the protolith, or the rock that it originally started as. First, let's look at gneiss. This is a metamorphic rock that typically comes from igneous rocks, such as granite. As you can see in this example, the crystals of the igneous rock have been elongated to show foliation. This is slate. It is a metamorphic rock that is formed when we add heat and pressure to the sedimentary rock of shale. Another example of a metamorphic rock is schist. This is where we take the already metamorphic rock of slate and add increased heat and pressure until we get schist. Our final example is marble, which is a metamorphic rock formed from limestone, which is a sedimentary rock.